Good morning and welcome back to another video. I thought today would be a good day to do another day in the life working at the urgent care. Wow, check out the sun, you guys. I'm at the gas station right now getting some gas because I close the urgent care tonight and I don't want to have to get gas after my shift. So I'm getting gas real quick and I'm rushing to work, but I'm taking you guys uh, to urgent care today. So let's go see what the day brings us. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmation. All right, well, I just got to the parking lot, parked my car, found a spot, but I can tell you right now that this parking lot is extremely full and i am pretty certain it's busy in there there's a couple spots open but it is a weekend day so we are the only spot open right here in this corner so every car is affiliated with our urgent care i'm actually 15 minutes early i was going to sit here and chat for a minute but i think i'm just going to go in there and help out because i have a feeling it's pretty busy so let's go to work i put a jacket on it is cold i think it's 48 degrees right now I had this backpack since I was in community college, so <laughs> I don't know, 34, 11 years ago, I need to get a new backpack. I have actually bought some new bags in between, and I always come back to my old backpack. I don't know. All right, I got my granola bar, I got my water, obviously got to get my coffee, I'll grab you guys, and let's go to work. Mask. I almost forgot my mask. So, yay! I am definitely not tired of wearing this. One, two, three, four, five waiting and in rooms. Cool. So we got a cough. We've got sore throat fever, asthma. My computer just froze. Oh, come on. All right, I'm going to go see this asthma flare first, and then we'll see the others.
chicken shawarma. So here I am writing a script for something called magic mouthwash. So I had a patient here with herpetic gingival stomatitis. So the ulcers in their mouth were extremely painful. So magic mouthwash, this is a mixture of lidocaine, Benadryl, and Maalox in which the patient just swishes that concoction and spits it out. And this is for pain relief. There's really no standard dosing if you go to look it up. Um, there are some variations that are used, but this is how I was taught. Uh, on the bottom of the screen, you can see the way that I write it out when I'm prescribing it. But basically, like I said, it's an attempt to give that patient some pain relief. It is a miracle, but I have finished all of my charting. Let me see, 6, 12, 18, 24 patients. Just finished all my charting, and it's 6.40, so we're actually 40 minutes behind, but we had like three people check in like 20 minutes before we close, so that's why. But I did finish all my charting, and I get to go home now, so. All right, it's another good morning. So I worked yesterday, and I also work today. It is Monday morning. It is chaos this morning because I had to get both kids to school and I have to be technically to work at 10 a.m. and I dropped my son off my youngest one to preschool at 9 30 on a good day without any traffic or construction which right now is like constructions everywhere uh, I can not really make it there in time so on a day that there's construction and traffic I definitely can't make it there in time I anticipate I'm gonna be like 15 minutes late I did text them and let them know I was supposed to have someone else helping with dropping him off to preschool today but they are sick so that just didn't work out my car's a mess I threw everything in the back seat but luckily the people that I work with are extremely understanding and I've literally never been late thus far so if I am late today it'll be a first we'll see I'm sure I will be because I know one big street that I have to go down there's like construction on the whole freaking thing but yeah so I'm gonna try and take you along for another day at the urgent care like I said yesterday it was super busy uh, we had fun. It was a good day because I worked with a friend of mine, but we're working hard. So I don't anticipate anything different today, especially being that it's Monday. Everybody's up and moving and coming to the urgent care. So I am going to take you along, show you a little bit of the day. Hopefully, wherever you are, you're happy and you're healthy. And hopefully, if you're working, it's a good day for you too. But let's see what Monday brings us today. All right, well, my first patient is chest pain and difficulty breathing, and my second patient is a laceration, so I'll tell you how my morning's going. <laughs> So I got a corneal abrasion that I just actually diagnosed, but I was just gonna show you some of the equipment that I use here. So we have the tetracaine drops, which is the numbing drop that you do before using the fluorescein stain. That's of course if they don't have any allergies, but you put one drop in there. Usually what I'll do is I'll instill a drop with their eye closed and then I'll have them blink. It's a little less scary than like coming straight at their eye with it. So confirm no allergies and you numb it with the tetracaine. And then here are the fluorescein stain strips. So they look like this. And what you'll do is you'll take a little saline. So you're not, because it's a piece of paper with dye on it. And so, so it's not like putting a dry piece of paper on their eye. You take a little saline and you moisten it and you'll actually see that the dye can drip off of it. This does stain clothes, so just make sure you put something down on the patient to protect their clothing. But yeah, and so then what you'll do is you'll come and you'll hold it kind of horizontal to their eye and you'll have them blink it in their eye and you'll see it spread. And it will turn the whites of their eyes yellow, but it's not permanent. And that, so now their eye is numb, now they've dyed it. And then you get, and then you get your woods lamp, which is, which is essentially like a black light lamp. You plug it in, you turn off the light, you use this to look at the eye, and the dye will congregate if there is an abrasion. The patient did have a corneal abrasion. She did wear glasses, non-contact lens wear, so we know that that's not as concerning for like a pseudomonas infection. 
but I uh, covered her with some eye drops, gave her some instructions. But yeah, otherwise pretty straightforward. Clean up my mess now so my MAs don't hate me. <laughs> All right, well, I just got out to my car. It is beautiful out right now. It's in the 60s, sunny. I am so excited to be getting out early enough to go watch my baby have his last t-ball game today. But it was a very good shift. It was actually pretty chill. I can say that now that I'm done with my shift. It started out a little hairy there, but then it kind of fizzled out and it was slow. Again, I can only say that because my shift is over. Otherwise, I know better. I do not say that word while working. All right, but I think that's going to be all for today's video. I'm headed now. Like I said, it's my son's last t-ball game. Maybe I'll put a little clip in at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, it's his last t-ball game. It's so much fun. And I got out early. Charting is done. Good day. Hopefully everybody is doing well. Don't forget to learn something new every day. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of you really like this urgent care content. So hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, I wish you guys nothing but the best. All right, take care. Bye. Hey, Jackie, I'm wondering if you're ready for your last day of t-ball today. Yeah. Yeah, you're ready to go? Yeah. All right. What's your favorite part of t-ball? Batting. Batting? Yeah. You're a really good batter. That's probably why. What's your, the part you don't like so much? Running the bases. Oh, having to run? Yeah. <laughs> I feel that as well. I see that. All right. Well, you look really cool today. You excited for your last day? Yeah. We're really excited to watch you. Hit the ball far and run fast, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. <laughs> Some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day yeah. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake it's